Hey guys, welcome back to Anchor Shadow Gaming. Um, it's it's been a while. It has been such a while. Um, I I know I keep coming up with like all these excuses, but this one I actually have one. I've moved house. If you haven't been able to tell in the background, um, so in between that and we've only just got the internet connected in the last couple of days so I've literally not been able to do anything so now that I'm actually able to do stuff hey here we go let's do some stuff so we are back on day 10 of Saddle Club Willowbrook Stables and thank you everyone so much for your patience with it um I've also actually been trying for like almost an hour to just get the game running um for some reason it's just not like responding when you open a save file um, so I'm going to record as much as I can today. Um, I am actually also trying to get over, um, a cold as well, which is like the sore throat. So I'm going to do as much as I possibly can today. Um, cause I'm, I'm honestly too scared to <laughs> close it down cause I don't know if I'll be able to get it back again. So, um, uh, oh, I got some bad news. Our Mr. Penman, I mean, Mr. Earl, has escaped. Oh, no. Well, I put him on the boat to the mainland, but when they got there, he was gone, and no one saw him fall overboard. Odd, that. But didn't they find him? Well, they looked till it was well past dark, but nothing. I'd say Mr. Robert Earl met with an untimely demise. I don't think we'll be seeing him again soon. Can you be sure? What can we be sure of, Lisa? Only that the sun will come up in the morning and that there'll be post to deliver. Ooh, speaking of which... I know. You better go. Awesome. So, that was great. We spent all of last episode trying to arrest the guy and now he's escaped. So that, that's neato. I'm pretty sure I have to go to bed as well. I don't think I did that last time. So, <clears throat> I also really couldn't be bothered feeding the horse, so. Okay. And there's Hazel. Awesome. Go over and have Hello, a wee Lisa. chat. Oh, Hazel, hi. I've been meaning to come and see you. I heard all about Penman. No surprises that he was working for Armco. Did you hear that he escaped? Hmm, not that bit. Well, if he knows what's good for him, he won't be back. Still, Armco is a powerful company. Even with Penman gone, we haven't beaten them yet. I'm off to see Bruce now. If he's able to help me, I'll be one step closer to finding the shoes, and one step closer to saving the stables. Well, good luck. Bye then. The sun on that window is just coming in. Oh, On a really awkward angle. There we go. Like, I'm not sure I'm like the setup that I want to do with the room either with recording, so I just... I have no idea. Um, I also alt tabbed, unfortunately, so that is why the map is so like fuzzy. Oof, I don't know. Um, so we're going, we're going to go see Bruce. That looks like Veronica. Not a party without Veronica in town, is it? Did you hear Tom Penman escaped? He could be back, you know. We could we all could be, be in, danger. in danger. Really, Lacey, you're so overreacting. Why were you working with him anyway? I mean, he was really bad. Yeah. I didn't know anything about that. He didn't seem that bad. He was the only person on the island that's been nice to me. He was just sucking you in, Veronica. 
Anyway, I haven't been mean to you, and I'm sure if you gave everyone else a chance... Like I'd want to be friends with any of the losers on this dumb island. Plus, Penman said this island would be a thousand times better if I helped him, and he said I could keep the golden horseshoes for my horse. You're pathetic. Oh, one more thing. What? If you had anything at all to do with poisoning my horse, you better tell me now, because if I ever find out you were involved, you'll end up in the sea with Tom Penman. Lisa, I didn't even know your horse was sick, I swear. I'd never do anything like that. Good. Who cares about your stupid horse anyway? <laughs> it's still an ugly old hack. Veronica! She's such a bitch. Alright. Hi, Bruce. Let's have a chat. Let go. Not a problem. Easy key. Thanks. You're the best. You're pretty clever yourself, sport. Oh, Is that some flirting? <laughs> Okay, so we'll go back to the church, I believe. The mouse is actually a lot faster when, like, it's all fuzzy as well, so, hmm, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Where am I going? Up here. Cool, cool. So I wonder where we're going to find Mr. Penman. I honestly... I'm just really annoyed that he was involved. I really thought they were trying to like screw with us. Lisa, how glad I am to see you. Hi, Eric. I must apologize for that Tom Penman incident. I'm so sorry I didn't believe you earlier. That's okay, Father. It's not your fault. He fooled a lot of people. Look, I've got the key. Ah, so you have. Why don't I leave you to find out what's in the box then? I've got to pop out and calm down Cynthia. She's in a terrible state after finding out she served a criminal. Good luck then. You too. And, and God, God bless. Ah, uh, where am I going? Oh, oh. Poor doggo, like, knocked down her piece of wood and like landed on his bum. Um, well, what are we doing? Okay. You'll probably also be able to like hear him licking as well. He's got wow, a bottle of water awesome. in front of him. Just as I thought. But he hopefully doesn't shoe. spill. I better show Frank. Oh, that was easy. Too easy. Show our good old friendo. Hi, Frank. Well, well, you've done it again. Where is it then? Right here. This one's been the hardest yet. <laughs> Aye, come on then, hand it over. <laughs> I'm building up quite a little collection. <laughs> if I could just find the one I hid. You'd have the old set. Frank, are you sure you can't remember where you hid the last shoe? Oh, I'm sorry. I've been thinking long and hard, but uh, my mind's not what it used to be. I think I'm going to explore the mine. You spent your whole time down there. Maybe I'll find a clue to help me find the last golden horseshoe. I'm not sure, Lisa. The mine's a dangerous place. Three of my mates died working down there. Two of them are still buried under rock somewhere in the mine. It's no place for a young person. But Frank, the mine's our best chance. Mm, well, all right. Since I'm going down myself, I suppose you can go. I've got a feeling I'll strike gold soon. <laughs> Maybe you'll bring me some luck. <laughs> Come on then. Oh, and uh, leave that nag out here. No place for a horse down the <laughs> mine. 
Okay, so. Oh, come on. It sure is dark in here. Don't you get scared? Uh, part of the job. You have to get used to it. I don't mind telling you, though. I'm not too keen on the dark. Mm -hmm. But once you have your helmet with a lamp on it, it's not so bad. I also like to hum a tune, you know, to take me mind off the dark and what could be hiding in it. I'll remember that, Frank. If you're going to look for the shoe, I'd start down that way. I may not know exactly where it is, but I know it ain't here. Try not to get lost. If you wander around, you'll usually end up back here. I'll keep an eye out for you. Good luck then, and be careful. Okay, I will. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, I've never been here. So... Not gonna lie, also, I printed out like my directions around the mine. Um, hang on, he's just spilled some water. Hang on. The clumsy little bean. Um, yeah, I, I have printed out instruction uh, directions on how to get around um, because I don't really want to get lost. Um, so we've got to like find different um, symbols, symbols like the one that's just popped up. this way. I didn't see a triangle though. So you'll see a circle and a triangle. Okay. Keep going and you'll reach a large cavern with a big round water hole. Okay. So we'll turn right. circle at the next winer section we'll turn left um, where we'll see another spiral and another circle which is here um, go straight up the hill and on the bridge we'll turn right follow that path down and we should come across a triangle and a cross hopefully yes a triangle and a cross keep going and see a spiral and a cross spiral and a cross at the next Y intersection turn left And we'll see a triangle and a circle. Awesome. The next four way intersection will also turn left. Okay. Um, and we'll see a Cross in a spiral at the next winder section. We'll turn right. We'll shake it up this time and we'll turn right. Um, 
with a circle and a triangle, which is there. Um, we'll then reach another water tap cavern and we'll turn right. Um, and then turn right at the first turn off and we'll see those two keep going at the next Y intersection, turn left. This is literally the same like graphics as well. Um, at the next intersection we'll turn left and see a cross. Okay. Oh, I don't know what that was. Um, okay. Um, you will have come to a building, there's nothing to do here but note where the building is. Okay. So do we just... I think we literally just leave again. Okay, so we'll just leave again. Oh, these are weird. Okay, so we'll then turn right. Um, we'll go straight ahead around the mine car at the big water hole in the cavern. We'll turn left. Awesome. Pass the upturned car. Keep following the tracks. The next four way intersection, turn right. And turn right again. Apparently there are a lot more like interesting features as well in the mine. Um, I just don't really want to explore it. For no real reason, I just don't want to explore it. Um, go around the mine car and keep following the tracks. The big water tavern turn left again. The full mine cart, the exit is on your right. Awesome. Turn into it and pass a triangle and a spiral and a circle and you're out of the mine. Next to the fallen over mine car there is a screen that will fade and you will go into daylight again. Awesome. Awesome. So I assume we would then speak to Frank. Is that him over there? Alright. Hmm, okay. 
Okay. This is fine. This is totally fine. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god. Okay. Um Why is the game like this, man? Okay, I've also been seeing in the comments that if you hold down Alt and Zero on the number pad as well, it'll like get you out of a jam. That's not doing this at the moment. So, um, Don't turn on sticky keys. Would probably be, oh my god, I've just, oh my god. Hang in a sec. Thank god for auto saves. We're back. Um, so I'm going to leave the horse there so that that doesn't happen again. Oh my lord, what a day. Frank, I saw some symbols okay. on the wall. Do you have any idea what they mean? They're on the ground Here, below. I sketched them in my diary. Symbols, eh? Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, doesn't ring a bell. I can't think why anyone could have drawn these. <laughs> Might even have been me, but I can't remember though. If you ask me. Looks like a whole lot of mumbo jumbo. Still, might be something in it. How can I find out what they mean? Well, now, I seem to recall someone on the island knows all about symbols and the like. But, uh, uh but the like of me, can't remember who. What should I do then? Well, my mother always said, if you need an answer, go and look it up in a book. That's what they're there for. Of course, I never did. Never was a <laughs> of course. I'm more of a doer, you know? Don't waste time reading about it. I just do it. Okay. I'll go to the library tomorrow then. See you later, Frank. Right then. Now, where was I? Ooh, another cutscene. She found another shoe. She's going into the mine, though? That could be dangerous. But if it means finding the final shoe... I knew we shouldn't have let her go by herself. What if that Tom Penman comes back? She needs us, but there's nothing we can do. And it's not like Veronica's going to help. Awesome. So, we're going to the library tomorrow. So, we might call that a day. And hopefully I can get back into it after I've done. Yeah, the thingy's not all funny. Aww. That'll, that'll change in a sec though. Um, when I go to like cancel out of the recording, not cancel the recording, but like finish the recording. You feel? You feel. Oh my god, and it's back to being slow. There we go. Beautiful. Um, so, I'll feed, clean, do all that horsey shit. Um, and then I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.